I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm curious about this one. Fear the results. Like, I don't think I have feared any of the taste stuff that we have done as much as I've feared this one. Jellyfish, Stargazer, Robinfish, none of them hold a lit match to this. Beardfish is a species that is caught in like a thousand feet of water. You have to do deep drops. So this is not something that is terribly common to come across. You have to be using some pretty expensive tackle. You have to be really far offshore in order to get into these guys. They are basically a trash fish uh, bycatch of when you're going after tile fish and barrel fish and swords and things like that first time we went out on thrill ride uh we caught some beard fish and i was like man that's a really cool looking fish and there's a lot of meat on that guy my uncle told me that he tried cooking one up once it smelled like stink bug is how he refers to it so that's what we're gonna do today i was recently on another trip with uh, my uncle perry let's get this guy filleted up and uh, take a look and see what it looks like on the inside cool looking fish there man i'm really intrigued at checking this guy out they got really thick scales if you have any troll comments that you would like to leave me for eating crappy fish i'm happy to take suggestions steve feels a very similar to a sheep's head very reminiscent of a sheep's head not seeing any Y bones or any of that weird stuff that you find on those freshwater species, so that's kind of nice. Nothing crazy we're going to have to cut around. That's what they look like. You can see the backbone is not too thick. These bones are really easy to get up against. The meat is white and, uh, you know, it doesn't feel too soft. It feels pretty firm. Again, it feels like a sheep's head. Old, it's going to smell like stink bug and taste like a stink bug. Mm. So far, I'm not smelling it. Uncle Perry said that that's how it was going to be when we cook it. This is just the raw filet. But so far, uh, I, I smell absolutely nothing different about that filet at all. There. Comes off real easy. A little bit of a bloodline. As you can see there, we will go ahead and cut that out right now, the same as we do anybody else. Look at that meat, though. That is pretty white, and it's fairly firm. By all accounts, that is exactly the you know what you would expect on a good tasting fish. So I'm really, really intrigued by this now. I'm curious to see how it comes out. There are some Y bones right along this ridge right here in his back and in his tail. See those little nubs right there? That's gonna be them sticking up right along his back and then right there also. Those are gonna have to get cut out. Uh, My own, I don't deal with uh, these Y bones very often. So if you have any suggestions on what we need to do to remove them, uh, please, please leave me a comment down below so that I can, you know, get a little bit more educated on this. So that's what your filets are gonna look like. Let's get it into the kitchen and cook this guy up. Still alive, buddy? How you feeling? The ash is still kicking. I just, I had to run a little test. We had to, you know, let the cat eat it first just to make sure. If the cat eats it, 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 that's how you know that maybe you can take the next step and, and try it out. So, I'm cooking it up. This is the beard fish. So far, the cat has eaten it, and I'm not smelling anything that is freaking me out. Very, very nervous about this. I'm documenting every single moment of this experience, but so far, we're not running and screaming out of the house. That That's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> Do what? After you are done with the taste test, <laughs> then we get to have a real dinner. I love how they jump into it. I haven't even like introduced it or anything. Oh. They're just like, oh yeah, another weird fish that dad wants to feed us. Okay. This is the one that I have been waiting to hear how it is since day one. It's as a remote fly. Right? Don't like it. It tastes like You're not liking it? No. Seven. I'm pretty sure the taste is covered then. I like the outside. I like the outside. 
She won't see the batter. This is a no go The fish is not good. It tastes like. I'm not gonna say it, it looks tastes good, like. just doesn't taste It's like, not really to my delight. It's not to your liking. <laughs> You're just saying that to her delight. <laughs> it's not <laughs> to my liking. I said it tastes like ass. I don't know how much worse you can get than that. You spoiled brats. You're spoiled from all of the amazing fish that I catch. Yep. Or that I catch, just saying. Or yeah, that you catch. You know, the cat ate it. It actually took a bite Wait, out of your He just now went into his cage. He's breath. throwing up. <laughs> he is. What does it smell? It doesn't smell at all. No, it's There's not no odor to it. We're spoiled, and I agree. We're totally Holy spoiled. Holy crap, though. Look at that. Look how luminescent the meat is. Can you see that? I can't even catch it on camera, but you see how... Uh, I'll try to. I can't see it on here. It looks like it had... Damn it. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor like a total... Yeah, I cannot see it on the camera, but basically, so the meat itself has a sheen to it like like an oil sheen and it doesn't look like the way it tastes it doesn't look like it should taste that way it's mealy right it tastes like it tastes like it the does meat. it tastes mealy it tastes like the meat is going this way that way over here maybe sometimes that way then that meat does not even know what it that looks like i don't even have to when oil has that sheen on water and it has that rainbow kind of color to it so the meat had that had it kind of like yeah kind of like oh, but it had it oil sheen multiple color rainbow look to it really weird looking it is an edible fish if given the preference i would prefer to eat hake honestly i would prefer bermuda chub to that guy he's not bad like there's nothing bad about it just the texture is just not there it's comparable to gaff top is what you're getting is like you're spending a lot of money to get offshore and to get into some high mercury gaff top is what you're doing if you would like to see the video where we caught all of these, that available for you right there. And of course, we have season four. All of the videos of all of the fishing trips that we do is going to be available right down there. This is your first time here with us. Thank you so much for uh, you know staying tuned to the end. Please consider subscribing. We will catch you in the next video.